Welcome to Main Street Moments. Welcome to the channel. My name is Brian. Amanda, we have a lot to talk about because things are getting nuts at Walt Disney World right here in Florida. I want to start with this fight breaking out at Disney World over a photo op, which is insane. I have the video. We are going to watch the video. It has audio in it too, so don't miss it. And it's crazy town. Now, this fight broke out right outside of Main Street, USA. And I don't think this is what Mr. Walt Disney had in mind. Street fights outside of Main Street, USA, when he uh, came up with the idea of Walt Disney World. But this, this is something that I know there's been a fight here and there over the years. But this one is just insane. So this is in the New York Post. So much for the happiest place on earth. A brawl broke out at Walt Disney World after one family asked another to move over so they could take a photo in front of the park's 100th anniversary sign. Now, I don't understand, I don't understand why that would cause someone to get into a fight. But I'll tell you, whenever I'm going to take a picture and there's people around, I don't ever remember asking someone to move so I could take a picture of Walt Disney World. I usually just wait for them to mosey along. No one's going to loiter in front of any spot for much longer than a few minutes, and then you just get in there and take your picture, right? I, I don't understand why you would even ask someone to move, but they did. You know, if somebody asked me to move, I'd probably think they were a little rude and pushy, but I'd do it. I certainly wouldn't get into a fight. Shocking video from inside the park shows the group throwing punches at each other with one man on the ground in front of the sign as Disney employees call for backup. And here's some pictures of it. But we'll get to the video in just a bit. Oh, boy. Here, that looks like a cast member. And this woman, she's she's out for the count. And even though people are down, this this woman here, she's still, uh, she's still into it. And the photographer, he has not left his tripod. He's still there protecting the camera. The families were yelling and cursing at each other before the workers and a security officer arrived to split them up when the man who was on the ground having trouble getting up and opting to stay seated. The footage shows the Orange County Sheriff's Office said at least one person received medical treatment after the fight, but they declined to press charges. Hmm. Police say uh, the fracas erupted at about 2.30 p.m., which is the hottest time of the day, no doubt about, no doubt about that. When one family uh, member who was asked to move punched a member of the other family in the face. I mean, what? There's got to be more to it than that unless these people are insane. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. Whoever snapped this picture, that's the 100th anniversary sign. Isn't this, is, is this what uh, Walt Disney has become on the 100th anniversary of Walt Disney? This is crazy. And whoever got this picture, this is like a Life magazine cover, right? She's like floating still in the air. A security guard had to be called in to break them up. This guy is, I guess that's a guy. He's out. They're fighting. They're going at it. Oh, man. Walt Disney World Resort did not immediately respond to the New York Post request for comment. I bet they did not. Uh, brawls breaking out at the Magic Kingdom is not all that uncommon. Dish, uh, Disney issued a warning at the end of 2022 against unruly behavior at its theme parks in Florida and California following an uptick in violence. Last July, a massive fight involving at least 10 erupted when families got into a heated argument outside Mickey's Phil of Magic Theater. Okay, well, the incident resulted in two arrests and multiple people being banned from Disney. I just, for the life of me, don't understand how this happened. Now, this is the local news in, uh, in Orlando, Fox 35 in Orlando, and they have a, they have a pretty good story on it, and, and they talked to some people, so let's watch this. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> right now on the News Edge at 6, fists flying at Disney World. A family photo shoot turns into an all-out brawl there at the Magic Kingdom. This happened right in front of the train where you first enter the park. Good evening and welcome. I'm John Brown. And I'm Luann Sorrell. One family was trying to take a picture when another family apparently got in their way. Uh -oh. Fox 35, Stephanie Belfavanti is live at the park tonight. And Stephanie, that's apparently when these families started duking it out. Yes, it is. And for people visiting, the most magical place on earth wasn't looking so magical when they were trying to get into the park and they saw that bloody fight. Get that son of a in a chaotic scene, you can see deputies on the ground arresting a man after a fight at Magic Kingdom. During the fight, people at the park screaming as repeated punches are thrown. 
and what appears to be a cast member and another man knocked to the ground Monday afternoon. You can see in the video the fight happened right next to a Disney photo pass photographer. Deputies say it was an argument over a picture that started the fight. I can't believe the fight over the picture. Mad. Absolutely crazy, yeah. According to the Orange County Sheriff's Office, the victim's family was standing near the 100th anniversary sign at the front of the park to take a picture. A second larger family walked into the park and stood in the spot mm. where the first family was standing. That's when the larger family was asked to move so the photo could be taken of the first family. And someone in the larger family punched a member of that first wow. family in the face. So just a, a couple things about all this all right um <laughs> they interview these people that are guests and obviously they're tourists they're from europe what a bad statement right on our whole country that this is happening these people come all the way from europe and then they see these nutty americans get into this fight there's got to be a little bit more to this than we're than we're than we're hearing this family that threw the first punch got to have some issues going on it got to be wackadoodles but you know here's the thing you know the theme park tickets at Disney are expensive. They've always been expensive. I know they're incredibly high now, but they've always been more expensive than other theme parks. And what people used to say, and this is true, I've talked about this on the Main Street Moments podcast, what people used to say is, yeah, Disney tickets are very expensive, but it keeps all the trashy people out that cause problems. That's why Bush Garden is so cheap. People go to Bush Gardens that want to, you know, get crazy and you get a lower class of people at Bush Gardens. I know that doesn't sound too nice and that may not be true today, but back in the 80s and in the 90s, that's what people used to say all the time as an explanation to why Disney ticket prices were so high. Now we're getting a little bit of this going on. And you can see here we got a $109 a day ticket, right? One theme park. That's that's crazy. And over here at Bush Gardens, they are a lot cheaper. I mean, look at this. Save up to 50% off. You know, you can get tickets for like $67 a day. They're pushing. They're giving all these discounts and everything else. And I don't see the fights happening over at Bush Gardens. And I think what a lot of the reasoning is with a lot of people is this, that, that Disney rage that you hear people talking about all the time. People spend so much money. You know, they talk about a smaller family and a larger family. You know how much it costs to go to Disney. It's a lot of money and it causes a lot of stress. And people are like right up here with stress with that Disney rage all the time because of, you know, how much it's costing. The food, the tickets, the hotel, and it puts people on edge all the time. And sometimes if you're walking around the park, you can just look at families and see the rage inside the families all the time, can't you? You really you really can't. It doesn't happen as often as they may think in the press, but these fights do happen from time to time, and I think it's that Disney rage with the prices. Now, of course, there's been some big news this week, and it's the Galactic Star Cruiser, and it's closing in September. And I saw today that the final cruise of the Star Cruiser is sold out. And a lot of people are talking about, well, why did the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser uh, close? Was it the price? And I don't think it was the price alone. I mean, the price is crazy. But the main reason the Galactic Star Cruiser is closing is because there's really not a lot of Star Wars in there, right? They have all these characters that we've never heard of on a ship we've never heard of. I mean, even the land itself is hardly a Star Wars land. I love I love Rise of the Resistance. It's a lot of fun, but it's not, you know... There's, there's new prequels and sequels and everything else that they have coming out. Not a lot of Star Wars going on in there. I'm not into Rey. I know a lot of people are, but it's the wrong era of Star Wars. But it's still an awesome ride. You got Smuggler's Run. Okay, we've got the Millennium Falcon, which is awesome. But outside of the Millennium Falcon sitting there and Rise of the Resistance... To me, it, it, it could be Morocco at Epcot with a couple Star Wars things thrown in there because there's just not enough there that's familiar with the Star Wars that we all know and love and grew up with. And the Star Cruiser is, well, that's that's its problem, right? Who, who knows or cares about these characters? If this was a ship that had characters on it that we knew and loved and all grew up with, people would be excited. 
but it's not. And the halcyon, isn't that a, a, a sleeping pill? And you, you go through it. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, I, I feel bad for the cast members that work on the Star Cruiser. Don't get me wrong. I mean, these are these are good people, and they work hard. And and I know for a lot of them, it's very, very difficult because they've got this whole experience that they've got to be in character with the other passengers on the Star Cruiser, and the cast members have worked real hard. But it's not their fault. They didn't create the the experience. And there's a lot of talk as to why there's so little Star Wars and all these new made-up things throughout Galaxy's Edge and the Star Cruiser and all these things. And some people say, and I don't know if anyone knows this is true, but a lot of people say that if they use any intellectual property that was created by George Lucas, that he gets a percentage. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But it, it seems that a very strong possibility since we don't see Luke Han, Leia, where are these people, right, on the, on the Star Cruiser? And you look at these characters, I mean, who, who are these people? Who are these people? This captain. Come on. You know, if, if this was a captain that we have known, like somebody from the Resistance that we've seen in the past that fought with Luke Skywalker, if this was Princess Leia's ship from the original Star Wars, people would be all excited about it. Right? I mean, who's this? The cruise director. Linka Mock? Who's Linka Mock? Now, he's an interesting character. He's This guy here, this actor, this cast member is no longer at uh, Disney as a cast member. He's no longer on the Star Cruiser. And he's one of the guys on AllEars.net. See? That's Sammy right there with AllEars.net. See here? This is their latest video. He's in there letting viewers control my day at Disney World at Magic Kingdom. So he left the Star Cruiser long ago and went over to AllEars.net. But this is why it failed. There's just not enough Star Wars there. I'm sorry. Even if they had uh, some of the characters from those those new sequels with Rey, at least they'd be people we knew and people would be more into it. But, uh, I mean, come on. Where's R2-D2? Where's 3PO? Where's Darth Vader, who's on my hoodie, right? Where are these guys? And Gaia, you know, and I, she's a fine singer and all this stuff, but, I mean, Gaia, to me... Has, has kind of become like a punchline, right? I mean, they make a big deal about Gaia. Who's Gaia? If they had the Cantina Band from the original Star Wars movie on the Star Cruiser, man, I'd, I might pay to go on it. I'd say, wow, I'm going to get to see the Cantina Band, the real Cantina Band, and they're going to play all that music. But they didn't do that. They came up with all these things, and they call it Star Wars. And really what... Well, Galaxy Edge is, and certainly the Star Cruiser, without a doubt, it's Star Wars in name only in many, many ways, right? Wouldn't you guys agree with that? Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, I got one last story that is just, oh, a Disney worker arrested on child pornography charges, and uh, this is this is really disturbing. And sadly, this is not the first case like this we've seen over the years. A long time, this is also in the New York Post, by the way. New York Post must really have a thing for Disney because they report a lot of negative things about Disney. A long time Disney World employee was arrested for allegedly sharing child pornography and uploading pictures on a pal's underage daughter online. Oh boy, and said that he wanted to do something terrible, which I'm not going to read, but it's in the story. They got his name there. He's a Walt Disney World Parks and Resorts employee. He has been for 20 years. He was booked at the Orange County Jail following a months-long investigation into his Dropbox account that contains several files of children under 10 having sex with adult men. This guy's a real sicko, this cast member. Investigators said the father of two admitted to obtaining child porn about once a week for the last 10 years and even shared personal info about co-workers on adult sites. My goodness. He allegedly shared about 155 posts on the sites, including several photos of young girls and women he claims he knows, according to court records. Several of them included co-workers dressed as Disney characters while he allegedly was posting in an online forum that uh, hot teens and mouse ears are a weakness of mine. This guy, yeah, they got his picture there with Donald. Yeah, great pictures, you know. Uh, a Walt Disney World spokesperson confirmed that he was put on administrative leave Following the arrest, they can't just fire the guy. He's on administrative leave. Uh, investigators said uh, the case uh, against him began in September when the Orange County Sheriff's Office received a tip 
from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children about the Disney employee's Dropbox. Oh, my goodness. And uh, then they talk about uh, the Dropbox, a file hosting giant, provided police with an IP address linked to his account, which included a computer linked to a Walt Disney World service, according to court records. Now, one thing they don't tell us is what... What he did at Disney, was he a cast member working in the park? It sounds like he was a behind-the-scenes cast member. They don't, really, uh, they don't really tell us, and I would like to know that. But hey, you know, here's, here's the thing. Anywhere you have kids, you're going to have pervs following along. So, you know, you got to be careful. You got to watch your kids. Keep them close. All right, guys, my name is Brian. This is Main Street Moments. Let me know what you think about all these stories in the comments, the fight, the Star Cruiser closing. Do you think that the Star Cruiser is closing because there just isn't enough Star Wars into it? I think so. You let me know what you think. I'll talk to you next time.